Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. On this trip, I'm going to show you what may be the worst catfish bait ever. Alright folks, so I'm giving the chicken gizzards and chicken hearts one more try. I uh, went out with them the other day. I was out early in an area I thought I was going to catch some fish. And uh, man, it was bad. Didn't catch any. Well, I caught one on them. The other five came, uh, five or six fish that I caught came on perch. Needless to say, it was a poor performance. One out of seven or eight fish, so it's not good. Doing something different today, a little bit later in the day, and I'm dragging baits, I'm trolling. And what I'm doing is, I'm doing this a little more fair and equitable. I've got four rods straight out the back with the chicken gizzards and hearts on them. The cheap bait, the Walmart bait. Other two rods, two of them are on planer boards, two of them are out the side. Two of the rods are on bluegill, two of the rods are on perch. I'm fishing eight rods. I'm dragging eight rods down through here with a good little covering of bait just to see how everything comes together. Uh, yep, yeah, he's there. He is there. It is a gorgeous summer day. Absolutely gorgeous. Cloud cover, 70 some degrees, uh, tolerable humidity. Awesome for July. Let me get this board off of here. Making another run with these boards. Good planter boards. If you're looking for some, check them out. It's a number and a name. Right, let me get this fish now. Yeah, uh, I gotta check that one rod. There may be a fish on that. It's twisted off to the side. But yeah, it's, uh, as far as fish go, they're not liking the gizzards and the hearts. Not yet, anyway. Nice blue. Good eater fish. Easy, easy. Easy, open up, open up, open up, girl. Oh, look at that. What'd you eat? What'd you eat, huh? You ate a brim or a bluegill, didn't you? You ate anything but the chicken. You had your chance at chicken. You didn't eat it. Fish. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm even using this bait. Well, I kind of made it a point this summer to try some different baits uh, with the intention in mind that there are a lot of people that don't have time to go catch live bait, fresh bait, that kind of thing. So I tried chicken breast. It worked really amazingly well. I did not have a problem catching fish on the chicken breast when I tried it. It actually did really good side by side and had a lot of confidence in it. Was it the time of the year? I don't know. I haven't used it enough to figure that out yet. But uh, the other thing was I was just trying to do something cheap. So I had the idea of Let's try to find something under two dollars and i was able to do that and uh, i found these chicken gizzards and heart they look kind of like the uh some of the gizzards out of a gizzard chad that catfish love and it's one of the best baits ever uh they look similar but i wanted to see if they perform as good I'll put this one back out piece of bluegill on it one of the Rattling lures there. Catfish sumo. Sumo. Let's get that sucker back out. I'm going to check this one here. Just see why it's sideways. Is there a fish on here or am I on some other lines? Got a bad feeling it's in some other lines. Oh, nope, got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. Little bitty fish, it's all right, it's all right. Happy to have one. I do have at least one other line. Get him up here. Uh, two other lines. He hit, oh wait, wait. Oh, I don't even have the line that 
the fish is on. That's what's funny. <laughs> it's on one of these other lines here of this mangled mess. Here is the one with the chicken thing on it. <laughs> and this one gave up one of the bluegill. Oh Lord. Oh well. I thought we were gonna have a tie. But that right there is going to the bluegill fillet. Well, folks, you may be wondering, when would you use gizzards and chicken hearts and all that kind of stuff? Well, the biggest, the biggest real reason people are going to use them and go to them is just the availability. Uh, they're, they're readily available. And two, uh, you know, you don't have the time, ability, or uh, means to catch, you know, more natural bait, bait that, you know, you'll find in the water, fish, shad, brim, bluegill, uh, that kind of thing. So that's when people are going to use them. That's why these have become go-to baits, you know, the chicken baits, the chicken livers, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, it's readily available. You can get it in the store. It's very cheap. It's very affordable. And, uh, you know, it, it's the, the blood content in it I think people like and are attracted to. Uh, it's got some scent and uh, yeah, it's kind of what makes it a uh, a historically popular bait uh, among people who are trying to catch catfish. Finally, got one going on the chicken heart thingy. Uh, these are on the uh, striper stealth rods, catch the fever medium light rods. Came to an area that typically holds a bunch of channel cats this time of the year to, uh, cause I figured this bait was gonna be a better bait for catching channel cats. So, tried to give it something that was fair. I mean, it's, it's I don't think it would be fair to go out fishing for flatheads with chicken gizzards. Uh, and another bait. So I figured this would be fair. So let me get this one in the bait. I have to be a little bit careful lifting these in because this is only 12 pound line on these rods. Not what I'm used to fishing with, but it's a nice little blue, good eater blue. He took the chicken. He was dumb enough. There we go. We got three fish, two of them on baits other than the chicken. And we finally got one on the chicken. So let's see if we can get another one. There's one of the little chunklets there. Boom. Uh-oh, we got one of the chicken baits going off. Boom, there he is. There he is. Enjoying the boat traffic. One thing about fishing in boat traffic, summer boat traffic, it does not really bother me. But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to be trolling. That's what I'm doing today. I uh, cannot stand the anchor in all this chaos. It's one time where I definitely tolerate bass fishermen a lot better than I do pleasure boaters. Because bass guys, when they get by you, they're doing 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. I can tolerate that better than I can this right here. Another blue. Everything back over here spun out. Again, I don't have the main line strength here that I normally have. Be a little more, got to be a little more careful with it. Yeah, it's another one. Get eater blue and hit the chicken. We're at two and two. All right, guys. Anytime you're using any of the chicken baits always be careful about contamination salmonella you can get it from raw chicken so make sure you wash your hands uh, and uh, 
you know just watch your stuff your reels everything else can have it on there so uh, handles on your rods or you know bait knife that kind of thing so make sure you clean everything up especially your hands uh, be careful about eating any kind of food anything like that and if you've got it in a cooler be very careful uh, with it contaminating uh, any of your drink cans drink bottles that kind of thing all right guys got one going guess which bait it's on Boom. well if you hadn't figured it out by now the black rods are the chicken white rods are the perch or brown it's another one on the planter board that board off normally like I tell y'all, you can pop these boards loose. That's the safest thing to do. What I like to do is pull them off. And uh, this makes it a little easier than having it fall down there and dangle on the line. The big thing is just keep your line tight when you do that. Keep your rod bent the whole time. And you can handle the rods that way. Fish number five. And... Uh, We're at three on traditional bait, two on grocery store bait. This is a channel. We're kind of varying where we're going water-wise here, too. We kind of came down a flat, then rolled over into some river channel. Now, I'm going to come back up in here in a second and get the heck out of here. Old channel. Boom. That's all it was. It's just a uh, bluegill fillet. They love bluegill. If you haven't seen my videos, it's really the best summertime bait. They love bluegill. All right, guys, I think for ease of operation here, I am one, I'm reeling in the chick bait, make sure I still got bait on everything. Uh, when I put the rods back out, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, here's a good reason to check stuff. This one got kind of ratted up. I'm going to put out uh, three a piece. I've got out four a piece now, and uh, it's kind of a lot of stuff to have out there, especially dealing with the planter boards and everything. So I'm going to put out three a piece, and uh, we're going to keep our little test going. Divide the boat up uh, by sides. The cool thing is, obviously, white rods are still the uh, natural bait, the brim and the uh, perch, and then the black rods will be the uh, chicken. Ho, 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 is that a fish? It is a fish. Wow, look at that. I was reeling lines in and uh, getting ready to make this little move here, change stuff up, and guess what? There's a fish on one of them. And it's on the one with the chicken meat. Easy, girl. Easy. The old chicken meat rod. Dip that rod. That's a decent blue. All right, later. Boom. Chicken meat, baby. Chicken meat. Got one with the chicken meat. Cedar. Fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.